Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to uh, show you MonoGame for Visual Studio 2015 uh, which is a tool that you can use to create games uh, mainly. Mm, yeah, so just go under Google and then use write mono game and the first link should be to their home site, the web page. And uh, here on the downloads, you can download Monogame and install it for your Visual Studio version. Uh, and after you have installed it, you can open your Visual Studio. And then you go under a new project. And you should find inside your templates the template for Monogame. So I will create this on my desktop in a folder called test project. So I just press here and press OK. Game one is fine. So first time when you open Mono Game, this will show up. And what you want to do is double click the game.1cs, which contains the code for your game. And uh, yeah, this tutorial will cover uh, some common problems that uh, new users might be facing with Monogame. And one of the first problems uh, is when you press start and compile your game. Uh, I don't get this error because I have a game controller installed in my computer and if you do not have a game controller like Xbox controller installed, this line here will, might crash your Monogame. And what you want to do then is take it away. Because if you do not have a controller, this, this code won't work, gamepad.getState. So if it crashes when you press the green button, take away that code. So that's the first problem that, that might appear for new users. Um, Monogame is a tool for creating game. And what does that mean? It means that it supports a library of classes and uh, functions and variables for uh, Visual Studio uh, that helps you working with pictures, sound, 3D models, fonts and other content that, that is used in a game. And uh, what comes new with Monogame is something called the Content Manager, which you can find under this content. And the Content Manager is like uh, Explorer, which you use to load content. And the first time you double click this content, this window might not appear for you. And what you have then is, if I go under this, right click and go under Open With, and then I go, I think it is maybe this, let's see. Yeah, so this might be what you are seeing the first time you double click this content. So when you double click it, this might, no, oh. I right click, Open With, and then I go there, Set as Default, OK. So the first time you double click your content manager, this might uh, appear. And this doesn't help you that much when you want to work with your pictures or sounds for your game. So what you want to do is you want to right click this file, go under open with, and then you will want to take the pipeline and set that as default and press OK. So now when you double click, this window should appear instead. This is the content handler, which you use to manage your content of your game. So what you want to do now is um, the first thing you want to do this content manager for each new project you need to have a content manager or this this content thingy and um, you you sometimes it's very easy that you have two and they they are at different locations and, and that's why you cannot load your pictures or your sound so you have to keep that in mind so if i just press file and then i press open i should see in my game one this is the content manager of game one and that is the content manager i want to be using so i will just take, take file open and double click this and now i can add my content 
So I just I have a picture on my desktop of a nice cat, and this cat I want to um, display instead of this blue screen. So let, how do you do that? You use your content manager. So inside your content manager, you you press on your content, and then you press add. Uh, existing item and then you want to find the picture you want to use in my case this beautiful cat um, here and when you double click this one you will get this uh, add file di dialog which you which tells you that you you can copy this file from from one destination to your game folder so if I open my my, my, my game folder I have here uh, in content you can see now when I press uh, OK that this cat will be copied into this uh, this folder and now I've added I've added my cat to my project and uh, let's let's draw it what you want to do uh, you want to save of course um, and then a cat is a picture and a picture, a, a, a variable or a, a, a class that can hold pictures in uh, in MonoGame is called a texture 2D. And what you want to do is you want to use this class and create a variable like picture, give it a name, and then you want to use a predefined method in MonoGame which is called low content. To load in the picture from your content pipeline manager to your picture variable, and you do that with by typing pictures equals content dot load, and then the type again, which was texture two D, and then you want to uh, give it a string name, which is the name of this file minus the dot jpeg in this case so you just use the quotation marks to which says it's a string and then you write the name of the picture which is home minus cat in this case and then you have to end it with semicolon so now i have loaded the content and if i just compile it should not be an error if you get an error what might have happened is you look you're looking at another content. I will show you this soon. Anyhow, now I want to draw the cat and how I do this. I won't cover this this time so much. I will just write it out. So I go under the, the draw method and what I want to use is sprite batch dot begin, which begins a drawing, sprite batch dot end, which ends a drawing, and then I want to sprite batch dot draw which draws something and in this case it's a texture 2d so my picture and then I would want to just say say where where should it draw and I will use uh, vector 2 which is X and Y to tell it where to draw the picture so new vector 2 and in X 0 in the top left corner and then zero again in the top left corner zero so you start there in one game and then I'm finished so if I press start now it draws the cat at the destination which I printed so if I just change this to maybe 1010 10, you will see it will be in another spot as uh, ah, sorry. Yeah. Anyhow, so this is how you draw a cat uh, in in a mono game. But yeah, what I wanted to show you in this tutorial is the content manager. And if I now start a new project, then I will do all the same thing again. So I just save this project, go take it away, and then I'll open Visual Studio again. And I will create a new project, still a Windows game project. This is now called Game 2, and it will also be under my test project. 
and I will double click the game one CS and I will double click the content manager. You can see now that the old content is still it's open here. And when you create a new a new um, project, mono game project, the content manager must be updated by you or it will always look at the last known location. So if I just go here under my test projects, I have my game one and I have my game two. And in my game two, I also have this content manager. And this one I need to open or else my game two content manager. Um, let's see. We'll look at the wrong location. So file open and I'll have to open my game two content. And here I had to maybe add a new picture of a, I don't know, a dolphin. Yeah, that is not a dolphin, or is it? Yeah, it's a dolphin, whatever. Nice dolphin. I save this to my desktop and then I'll right click add existing item and then I'll go under my desktop and I'll look at where can I find my beautiful dusky dolphin. And I'll copy this. And if I now look in my my um, my game two folder, let's just look at these folders. In game one, in game one, in content, I have the cat. If I go back, in game two, in game two, in the content, I have the dusky dolphin. So, be prepared when you create when you create a new project in Visual Studio or, or in Mono Game. Uh, it will create a new content manager, but you have to tell it to open that content manager for that project or else it will probably look in another project and you won't be able to load your content. Um, it's a bit stupid, but when you get it, you you get it and uh, you, you won't have any errors. So yeah, other than that, uh, Mono game is just like XNA and it works very well developing games, but yeah, it's a bit troublesome in the start to just know how this content manager works and looks at stuff. So be prepared with that. That's all for this time. Thank you very much and uh, goodbye.